guys, it's me, Vanessa. I'm back after a long time of being gone, but my classmates have been telling me I need to post more videos so they can laugh how cringy they are. So that's what I'm going to do here. And since we're just like getting back in, it's a new day. We're getting back into the swing of things. Uh, actually, it's evening, but anyway, we're getting back into the swing of things and stuff. I'm just going to do a quick thing. I'm going to read from one of my old diaries. You guys have liked this before, and whatever. I like doing it, so screw you. I'm going to do this anyway. So this is my fifth and sixth grade diary, and this is going to be, you're going to hear a lot of weird gossip and suspicions about who likes who in sixth grade. So have fun, kids and perverts who are watching this who are like 30 years old. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to change the names of these people, so just be prepared. Alright, I just almost got asked on a date. Bob was like, meet me by the park, by the pool, at some time. Oh, forget it. His face turned bright red. He's been giving me subtle indications that he likes me for a while now, but now he just almost asked me on a date. I think I might like him. Okay, he did it now. It's a date. I'm pretty worried. What if I'm not back by four? Will he leave? I'm excited. What am I doing? And then, so, see, I had a soccer game this day, and it went long because, you know, soccer games are bound to go long. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to kick that referee in the butt. The game went 30 minutes late because of him, and now on Monday I have some explaining to do. Stupid guy. He freaking made me miss my first date. <laughs> it wasn't a date. Oh, my gosh. We were just hanging out. We didn't... He didn't even go, I don't think. I think he forgot about it. Anyway, next. Okay, I don't care if you guys know this guy's name because he moved and no one even knows him anymore. He was weird and he liked me at the beginning of sixth grade, but then, like, he stopped because it was obvious that I hated him. Okay. Okay, this does it. Keith is taking it too far. He sat as close as possible to me on Friday and I tried to move as far away as possible without seeming rude. You could tell Bob was a little upset when Keith moved over a desk to be closer to me, but then he smirked and gave me a subtle sympathetic look when he saw me scooting away from Keith. Keith even tried to sit next to me during science, but I pretended I didn't hear him when he asked if the seat was taken, so he went somewhere else. Something cool I learned on Friday, though, is if I give him a look, he'll basically do anything for me. Like, he was excited to go run, and he was being super annoying about it, so I gave him the look. And he said, sorry, and he shut up. Why am I going on about someone I hate? Let's discuss Bob instead. I'm fairly certain he likes Le me. Yeah, yeah, we can skip that part. <laughs> Boring. Oh my. Okay, this doesn't have anything to do with the plot, but I want you to see what I was drawing in sixth grade. Why does a sixth grader need to draw that? Okay, there's more than that, but that's for another day because I don't want you guys to get bored if you're not already. So, thanks for watching. Please leave a like down below and comment on how cringy this was. And tell me what you want me to do next. And subscribe if you're not already. And follow me. Um, yeah, I'll see ya. Bye, guys.